body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. A great punch landed with so much power. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to. Somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the Right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. It certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be here. Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Those are the body kicks that are crumbling. Until he blocks it, you better keep rolling those body kicks. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Velasquez. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was... Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's hooked. I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Back to his feet. just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight all right we take a look back at the replay and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that that was a massive body kick snuck it right under the elbow once it landed you knew the fight was about to be Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of the third round. So here is Cardio Cain Velasquez, former two-time UFC heavyweight champion, two-time All-American wrestler at Arizona State, jiu-jitsu black belt as well. A lot of different skills in the arsenal of Cain Velasquez. He is the favorite, as usual, as he steps into the center tonight. There's that patented single. Well, how's that for executing the game plan? He told us he needed to get the early takedown, and he produces right out of the shoot. He got it done, man. Takedowns where he emphasis in camp, and he got it done. He has to be happy that it worked to perfection. Single hollow tie. Oh! Oh, man, he's hurt! Double G 
jab there by Velasquez. Oh, big elbow. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Kick to the body by Jones. He gets in the second power time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Great timing on that double leg. Oh, Jones gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Grab the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got it. Velasquez bleeding from the match, Daniel. It looks as though there's a cut on his leg. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. Working hard to get back up again, and he's there. to really dictate where the fight takes place. Oh, beautiful knee elbow from John Jones. Is there anything in a mixed martial arts setting that this man cannot do? The consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones versus Cain Velasquez. That is a damaging kick that man. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the first checks ready. I was it's done. These guys have taken home the $50,000. They laid it all on the line. They dropped a quarter in the middle of the octagon, and they said, let's go. What a round. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. That kick blocked by Cain Velasquez. Is he in the clinch? Lands that punch. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Well, we've got a lot of blood. Oh, Fates upstairs and lands rushed to the body. Well, they land very soon. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. Oh, nice open right. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. All right, well, he rocked 
him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water. You gotta go with the end. in this fight, but we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Submission locked in now. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated. He's looking to finish. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the B-positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going in. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, good defense, yes. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. It looks like the arm triangle is getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, oh he, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a real. Come on, come on now. Oh, he's got the Kamora position locked in now. Oh, how slick was that, Kamora? Right into the arm ball. That was a beautiful transition. Chaining those submission attempts together. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart. Courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Oh, boy, look at that gas. Oh, he gets back up. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.